RPV swing mounts provide near seamless serviceable mounting for video wall displays. Each mount offers six axis adjustment to compensate for structural imperfections and achieving virtually gapless seams. Swing mounts can be configured into almost any sized straight or curved array. The swing action provides quick access and serviceability to any display in the array with minimal effort and downtime. In this guide, we will demonstrate how to install the swing mounts. This guide applies to most swing mount installations regardless of display type, size, or orientation. Recommended tools and hardware. A power drill, a tape measure, a leveling device, a self-leveling laser is highly recommended, a ladder, shims of various thickness, a socket wrench, an Allen wrench, and attachment hardware. Note that RPV does not make any specific recommendations on frequency or type of attachment hardware. Consult your structural engineer or general contractor for specific recommendations. Included materials. Back frames, display adapters, swing mounts, bay ties, L angle brackets, installation hardware, engineering drawings, and a printed installation guide. Note that quantities of included materials may vary depending on the array configuration. Some items may or may not be included depending on the size of the displays. Step 1. Unpack and verify contents. Inspect the shipping crates for possible damage. If the shipping container looks damaged, inspect the contents thoroughly. Parts damaged during shipping may have cracked welds which could compromise safety or performance. If you suspect the contents were damaged during shipping, contact RPV before continuing with the installation. Check the included engineering drawings for references to all the parts that should be included in the shipment. Note that some parts may look different or may already be assembled. The swing mounts may have shipped already attached to the back frames. If so, remove them from the back frames before attempting to install the frames. Step 2. Measure back frame location. Measure the back frame locations on the wall starting with the center lower frame. Positioning the first frame is critical because all other frames will be installed relative to the first one. For this guide, we set up a 3x3 portrait mounted array. Each frame holds a row of three panels, so our array consists of a single column of three back frames. Step 3. Attach first back frame. Attach the frame to the wall using one or two bolts. Do not fasten completely. This will allow the frame to be adjusted to a level position before installing the remaining attachments. Get the frame as level as possible. It is highly recommended to use a self-leveling laser for measuring alignment. At the correct height, the laser will show you precisely where the edges of the frame should be for a level position. Be sure to also check for plumbness of the frame and if necessary, install shims where needed. Install remaining attachment points on the frame and tighten securely once it is level. Step 4. Attach all remaining back frames. Repeat the previous step for all other frames on the same row. Continue the next row up starting from the center. Connect adjacent back frames together using supplied hardware. If the configuration utilizes bay ties, make sure to attach those for the proper amount of spacing between back frames. Warning. Failure to properly attach frames to support wall could result in severe injury or death. Step 5. Remove locking nuts. Remove the four locking nuts on the face of the mount. Locking nuts are used to prevent adjustment screws from moving during shipping. The lock nuts must be removed to allow adjustments to be made. Step 6. Set display adjustments to zero. Verify all display adjustments on the swing mounts are set to zero. The mounts should have already shipped this way, but it's good to check before installing them. Each set of adjustments should show equal amounts of threads. Step 7. Attach mounts to frames. With the back frames attached to the wall, you can begin installing swing mounts. Each mount attaches to the back frame using supplied hardware. Install all left swinging mounts on the left side and all right swinging mounts on the right side. Each mount is labeled accordingly. Refer to included engineering drawings for the specific configuration of your array. Step 8. Install L-angle brackets. Install L-angle brackets to each column. The L-angle brackets connect all mounts in a column together for uniform movement. Step 9. Install display adapters. 
Install display adapters on each display. Make sure the adapters are oriented properly per the engineering drawings. Step 10. Install displays. Install displays starting with bottom row center. Insert the hanging studs on the display adapter into the keyhole slots on the face of the mount. Run cables as each panel is installed. Add sufficient length to each cable for the mount to swing open. Make sure to verify the cables do not impinge movement of the swing. Step 11. Display alignment. Start with center display on the bottom row. Loosen the adjustment nuts. Use these adjustments to move along the x-axis. Use these adjustments to move along the y-axis and to adjust the roll. Use these adjustments to move along the z-axis and to adjust the pitch. When making adjustments in any direction, always make sure there is sufficient slack on the opposite set of adjustment screws. Without sufficient slack available, movement will be limited in a particular direction. If it becomes difficult to tighten the adjustment screws, do not force it, as you may damage the mount. Check the opposite side and loosen as necessary. Finally, tighten adjustment nuts to lock the position. Step 12. Align all displays. Repeat the previous step for all other displays in the row. Continue the next row up, starting with the center display. If you have any questions about the installation of this product, please contact info at rpvisuals.com.